we, we need debate. I think the good thing about this question is that it, it sparks debate. And uh, when, when society is changing, you need, these, you need to, to, to cover these, uh, these changes. First of all, before I answer this question, um, I would like to say that many people, they, they put one blame on this question. They say, this is not the right question to ask right now. This is not a priority. This is not the problem. This is not the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room, it's the elephant. It's the car. It's the car that takes up all the space and that creates an unhealthy lifestyle, that creates danger, that creates pollution, that makes uh, cities unpleasant places to be in. Why are you talking about these little scooters that take up so little space? And why are you making a fuss out of it? That's just to... Uh, Pre, pre, uh, preliminary uh, remarks, so uh, which is indeed uh, true. But the question is raised by the city of Paris. Uh, they ask uh, the citizens of Paris, do you want uh, shared um, scooters uh, or not? That's the question that is asked. So now my uh, opinion on the, on the scooters um, uh, as such. Um, I personally think there are three reasons uh, to to say no to that question. Let's stop it. Let's stop these, even scooters all together. It might sound very strange, but I'll explain it. The, the, private, the private scooters as well? Yeah, the private scooters as well. It, sound, it may sound very radical and strange, but I'll I'll explain this uh, this opinion. First of all, it's the, 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 the danger. Again, it's strange because the car is much more dangerous, but you know, that's another topic. And the city of Paris is also working on that. So now I revert back to the scooter and danger. How come? Um, the thing is that the, the, there's several reasons uh, f f that, that make it, it, it dangerous for, for the people who are using it. First of all, because of the very small wheels. That makes them very uh, vulnerable because you know there, there's many holes in in the in the street, and as soon as you get stuck, there's no way you can uh, you can stay on 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 the road. You, you can keep rolling, which is more the case on a bicycle. That's the first reason. The second reason is the distance between the two wheels. It's very short. That makes you very vulnerable to uh, tipping. Um, that's that's the second risk. The, the third risk is is well the, the the brakes were not that good in the beginning that may have been solved because of course these these companies they evolve very quickly and there's another reason it's that they have a very um very weak reactivity you know when you're on a bicycle for example or even on a, on a, on a motorbike you can quickly uh, accelerate and get you out of situations the uh, scooters the electric scooters they, they're much more slower so it's it's more difficult to save yourself in certain situation and there's another thing that i don't hear people talking about it's about indicating your direction it's you're not really visible there, there are two ways of doing it what the companies tell me they said well we have um the uh, in direction lights how do you call them at the, the blinkers. blinkers exactly but I, f I filmed them. I, I made a whole thread on Twitter that you can see uh, where I filmed it. You don't see it because it's very small, first of all. Secondly, it is very low to the, to the, to the street. So, it's, it's, so it's not, that's not where your eye is. Your eye is really where the, 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 the taillights of the cars and of the bicycle in the Netherlands are because they normalized it. And for all these reasons, it's difficult. I see people sometimes indicating their... Um, direction desperately by um, um you know putting out a leg you know just you know, how do you call it they're just indicating direction with a leg but it's way too dangerous so this this makes it a, a dangerous situation the second reason why i would say no is that these scooters they're, they're of course a passive mobility they are there are many positive things about it. It's very small. It's very practical. It's not that expensive. Um, it's even funny. But the thing is, it's, it's, um, you are like a bag of potatoes on it. I mean, you don't move. So it, it doesn't encourage people to move. And there was a study that was done by the, um, by the company 6T, who did that for the city of Paris. And it looked into this, uh, this situation and they found that when you look at all the flea floating uh, services, be it bicycle, uh, moped or this, this kick scooter, is th they found that the kick scooters, um, as you call them, right, uh, uh, have one out of three trips, they replace a, uh, a pedestrian trip, meaning that in one out of th three um, trips, the user would have walked had there not been the scooter, which which means that they they delete a lot of uh, pedestrian trips, and I think that tr pedestrian trips, well, it's not 
deleting them is bad for the health, but it's also bad for the city. Because that brings me to my third point. I think uh, the reason why I would say no is, and that's a more complicated um, uh, reason, is that I think we have, we all have an idea about what the city is. We imagine what it, and what a nice city is, what a pleasant city is. And I think that Paris in particular is the city of walkers. It's a city of pedestrians. When you think of Paris, you think of full, you think of terraces, people sitting, moving with their legs, moving their, their bodies and interacting with each other and also with the facades. And if you allow the moped or the, um, the scooters, it's like if you put um, a transition from the pedestrians to the, the fast lane. You're putting to in the fast lane and then you can say, yeah, but the bicycle is also the fast lane, which is true. But at least people are still moving. And it's also a kind of dignity, even because moving with your body, it's a way of showing, hey, I have a body. It's, it's, it's healthy. I want to keep it healthy. So I'm moving. And it's, it's good for your body. It's also good for, uh, for the city uh, itself. So these three reasons would make me say, no, let's 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 invest in a bicycle culture. Let's not invest in, you know, these uh, these 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 things that would um, discourage, especially young people, from getting used to the 